power bills in the wake of last week's statewide power crisis. A Rockport man is angry tonight. He's angry after getting an electric bill for over $9,500. Our Seth Kovar lets us know how it could happen and what he's doing in hopes of not having to pay it. This is a turn off of the bill. And it's even higher since then, $9,500 for four days. Last Monday through Thursday, while thousands of people didn't have power, Randy Thatch did, and it was costing him a fortune. We'll have to dip into our retirement account in order to pay it. As the charges for extremely expensive electricity kept hitting his credit card, he took himself off the grid and fired up the generator at his home instead. But the damage was already done, and here's why. With the power supply threatened during the deep freeze, the state maxed out the wholesale price for electricity. That encourages power generating companies to generate more power. For Thatch, whose electric rate is indexed or tied to that price, it meant an electric bill at his home almost 40 times higher than he normally pays. It just makes me mad that the, that government agency come in there and, and set the price arbitrarily at $9 a kilowatt hour for us variable price customers. His calls and emails to his power provider, Gritty, have not been returned. He's even reached out to elected leaders in Austin and Washington for help, but so far, nothing. I'd like to see the governor and uh, the state legislature uh, compensate us for this, because this was no fault of our own, so, uh, and put some kind of regulation in so that it never happens again. My messages with Gritty have also not been returned. The State Public Utilities Commission tells me they're now investigating power providers that offer index rates like Thatches. Reporting in Rockport, Seth Kovar, Chris 6 News.